Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Friday. So, um, my final was today. It was horrible. Uh, not that that surprises me terribly much, but it was absolutely awful. Um, she said her normal average is a 50 on her final, and I can see why. Um, I actually ran out of time before I could get all the problems done. And, you know, um, I know that some of you all watch are also in the accounting profession. Can you tell me why it is that these professors feel the need to do this? Or did you have professors like this? Um, they were awful. Mine is awful. I had an 83.8 going into the final. I feel like if I come out of the class with a C, I'm grateful. That's pretty pitiful, guys. Um, I had a B. If I can come out with a C, I will be a happy lady because um, I feel like I failed the final. Um, when you run out of time, I, you know, I guess if you make out the final, it's really easy to do the questions, but when I have to do three or four steps to get to my answer, just awful. So, anyways. We're going to quit talking about that. It is now officially Christmas time. And I actually did take the rest of the day off from work. I'm going to go run around and play for a little bit. Hmm, wonder if it's time for school to be over. Y'all think? Greetings and hello. I've taken my hair back down, as you guys can see. Um, I may go to Franklin, but it's raining outside right now. Which is not my favorite thing to travel down through Nashville traffic in. So I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to do that or go thrift shopping. We'll see. Good evening, everyone. It is Friday night, and I am at home. And I am being attacked by this little puppy dog here. I'm going to get down. Who thinks that every time I talk to you guys or any time I get on the phone, she's like a like a, a two-year-old. And please excuse me, but I'm having to eat another Coldies tab. I don't sound too bad. Um, I'm afraid to stop taking them because it's just like day three of when this cold set in so I need to wait another what two three days and then I can stop taking them they make everything taste weird but small price to pay for listen I can breathe so small price to pay but um, anyways it's Friday night my animals have all decided to move randomly um, I'm at home and just kind of enjoying my evening. I'm looking forward to this weekend. It is my first weekend off. My exam, horrible today, just horrible. But um, for whatever reason, she thinks it's okay to say, most of my students get a 50 on this test and think that that's something to be proud of, but whatever. My objection, <clears throat> I've come to realize throughout this semester that I'm just gonna have to deal with the pro professor and that my objection really isn't uh, she makes her test hard. It's the fact that she's not teaching me the material I need to use later on in life. That's what bothers me. It's not so much that the tests are hard, it's that I don't feel like I'm being taught the material and I'm able to master it to take care of things. So, anyways, I don't have to worry about class tonight or tomorrow night. Oh! And I get Sunday off too, and I am determined, guys. Um, I just got off the phone with my friend Jessica. You guys remember her, blonde girl. Um, she and I are going to go to the Goodwill Outlet next Friday. I am so excited because um, we decided that she actually is a professor, um, an English professor. And um, she, I met her because I used to work in a school as a school counselor. And... I know, random, right? Like going from school counseling to accounting, major shift. We'll talk about that another time. But um, anyways, both of us are now out because I'm I'm back in school. And so to celebrate, we're going to the Goodwill Outlet and I'm taking you guys. So I know you guys will be excited about that. Um, other things. It was a good day today. I had a good day. I am just lounging on the couch, kicking back and enjoying my evening and sucking on a coldies. But before I let you guys go today, I'm going to show you, you're going to ignore my hideous house that you might see here because what happens during finals is that I don't clean as much as maybe I should. Um, although we shouldn't shit ourselves to death. Ha ha ha. Sorry, counseling joke. Cheesy. 
if you've ever taken counseling classes you'll you'll get that if not just move on and I'm just dorky sometimes but I thought I would show you my Christmas tree um, I have it up the ornaments are on and I guess what you should know about my Christmas tree is that I have an affinity for gingerbread men that is my thing some people do Santa's some people do um, well maybe I should talk to you this way so that you're not looking at the TV some people do Santa some people do snowmen some people do snowflakes some people do all kinds of things um, gingerbread men are my thing Santa Claus is my mom's thing but I love gingerbread men and so if you see some like here I'll show you like I have this little guy isn't he cute I think he's adorable and of course I have this um, and then I have all varieties so I'm just kind of going to give you guys a look at my Christmas tree and let you all um, kind of share it with you my favorite ornament this year by far is this beauty and this is an ornament from 2010 but I put the light behind it and how pretty is that as you can see it glitters with the crystal and it glitters oh just love it that's my favorite also glass and if you don't like Christmas trees I'm so very sorry because I love Christmas Christmas is my holiday it's my most favorite holiday ever um, out of all of the holidays we celebrate throughout the year this one's mine my house typically if I'm not in school and not stressed out my house looks like Santa exploded and that's the way I want it now I told you guys we were going to the Goodwill outlet and guys I found these little cuties look can you see they're M&Ms and they're light covers for the Christmas tree how adorable are they now you can't tell me that that is not just so super cute and here's some more of my little gingerbread men but I also found at the Goodwill outlet these crocheted and they're starched so they're nice and stiff um, ornaments and it's not wanting to focus on it there we go so I have those throughout my Christmas tree more gingerbread men and I have an angel here that was given to me that actually lights up give me a second here and I can show you ah, I say I can maybe I can maybe I can't see if you could see her isn't she pretty and another m and um huge fan I don't know if you guys like hoops and yo-yo I don't have the batteries in there at the moment um I'll have to show them to you but I love hoops and yo-yo and this one actually has you can see it has a spring and it it moves um this one sings um I want a hippopotamus for Christmas yes I know I was way off key <laughs> so ignore that but um all kinds of beauties and I love um, the glass ornaments and then of course no tree to me would be complete without little um, uh oh oh I'm glad I looked at that one I didn't realize that it was undone um, I don't know how many of you all had these when you were younger but my mother has a set of these and they go you know they're the concave and they're very fragile I absolutely had to have some of those here I'm gonna give you all a good look at my Christmas tree so this is my Christmas tree and what I have on it and um, this one sings I saw mama kissing Santa Claus and this one also plays tunes um, But you guys can kind of get an idea even miss Emma has her very own ornament see she's a loved puppy Isn't you cute um so anyways I'm gonna come stand so the tree is behind me again anyways because it is vlogmas um I'm gonna share with you one of I don't know what you all's traditions are would love to hear about them one of the traditions that I have with my family um, for Christmas is actually specifically with my mama and I call her mama I don't care if I am in my mid 30s my mother will always be my mama and my father will always be my daddy 
I don't know if it's a southern thing. I don't know if it's just a me thing. But that's, I still call them mama and daddy. So anyways, um, now that I've rambled on about that, um, one of my favorite traditions, we're going to get back to that. One of my favorite traditions is that my mother started the tradition when I was um, basically less than a year old, and it still continues today. We buy a dated ornament every single year, and I actually have Baby's First Christmas that my mother bought for me um, back in the 70s. And I don't necessarily hang them on the tree because of the cats. When I had a three and a half foot tree, they knocked that tree over, and um, I have a fear. I've had this tree now for five years, and they've actually I've had it longer than that. I had this tree for about seven years, and they've not knocked it over one time, but I'm terrified because you can't replace those. Um, maybe I will show those to you guys for Vlogmas. That would be a good idea. I could show you my my very beloved ornaments, um, and I know what good are they if you don't hang them up, but they're so precious I don't want to lose them so anyways every single year my mom and I get one um, her plan when she started that tradition was to get them until I was 18 and and moved out um, so that when I started my own Christmas tree I had a Christmas tree full of happy memories for my family which I thought was an amazing um, just such an amazing tradition and I intend if I am able to have a child because you guys know that I'm looking into that. If I have a child, I will absolutely pass that tradition on. Um, and maybe that's something I can do, is tell you guys about the traditions of my family and what we do for Christmas that I think are um, meaningful to me, uh, or at least as many as I can think of. So I guess that's my first Christmas tradition to show you guys. Um, but anyways, I hope you all have had, little Miss Emma is like over camera that way. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Um, my exam is over. Christmas has officially begun. Um, had a little slight aneurysm this afternoon because I left work early and forgot to do something. But gratefully, the other office was open. So I was able to go by there and finish the task. So woohoo! Two thumbs up for that one. But I hope you guys have had a fantastic day. I will see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow probably will be very light in the morning. Um, I'm hoping to be able to videotape during this tour of homes and if I can and they don't tell me I can't video guys you guys are going to see it's called the Oakland's Mansion in Murfreesboro and they're doing a candlelight Christmas and I will try to video whatever I can videotape for you guys hopefully if it doesn't have a flash they'll let me and they won't fuss um, and then hopefully some of the private homes maybe I can videotape for you guys so I love you all. I hope you all are having a great start to the Christmas season. I hope you all had really enjoyed your Thanksgiving. I finally got on there tonight now that I'm not bogged underneath present value and future value and dollar lifo and all of that and replied to you. So I'm very sorry that there was a delay, um, but your messages mean the world to me. So I hope you guys are having such a wonderful time and I'm in a really good mood because I don't have to study. Anyways, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Emma, say good night to everybody. Say good night. They love you. Tell them. Say good night. Treat. <gasps> Treat. Good night, y'all.